Hello and welcome to Station Is. We're here on Mars, where I do a lot of my testing. This is my testing creative world. And I can spawn in pretty much anything I like. I would uh, like to grab this before we go anywhere. Now, I have decided that I need a combustion centrifuge on my Venus playthrough. And I don't really know the first thing about them, and I I, I really can't be bothered to try and, and figure it out at, at the moment. I just... It, it doesn't it doesn't really um it doesn't really interest me to try and get to the mechanics of this thing right now so i've been doing a bit of testing here on this world i've run a few scripts through i i borrowed equipment from my airlock testing uh and uh, i i didn't really come up with anything that i wanted let me just grab this other light down here as well while we're here oops not what i wanted to do thank you so, with that in mind, I decided that I am going to test a bunch of different scripts available on the workshop. And, well, yeah, rather than just test some scripts from the workshop, I thought I'd decide to make it a bit of a race. So, over here we have a timer, and we have a, a basically a running scoreboard of all of the individual uh, machines with their scripts. So I'm just going to pop these down over here because we are now at night time just to give the place a little bit of a extra lighting from all angles. So every one of these is set up in the exact same way. These are all set to come to 10 megapascals in the pipe. I don't know if that's the perfect amount for this ma these machines, but this is the only one here, I believe, Mr. Canerican. Oops. Mr. Canerican's, I believe, is the only script that actually has its own mm, throttling of the the gas that you use. Everything else, it just comes without anything. So I've, I've put my own, just to limit it to 10 megapascals so the pipe don't go kaboom. So, apart from that, they've all got a stack of ore in. It doesn't really matter. I just put them in for having them in, and... Uh, it's the race, the first one to a thousand revs per minute wins, and I will probably be using their code in my next playthrough. As soon as I press this important button over here, everything comes to life. We get some seconds ticking up there, and we we get to watch them all in action. And I will do my best to have a commentary, a little bit like a racer, uh, like a racing driving or, or or whatever you were, what any kind of racing. They they have a certain style. I'll try and emulate that if I can. Uh, apologies if, if I haven't put your chip in right, if you're one of these creators. Apologies if I haven't set things up in the correct way for your particular code, but I just pulled it from the workshop, put it in an icy housing, hooked up all the stuff that you need for it to work, and Bob's your uncle. So we have... Thin Stacks 2000 in this, this, this machine. He has an external IC here, which also has a uh, LED display, particularly for, I think it's input or output, uh, probably output. This machine here is Bojrit, Bo, 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 Bo I also, it, for that, that really <laughs> um, apologize if I, if I butcher your, the pronunciation of your name. Uh, this is an internal chip, as is this one, which is Atlanticize Z, Atlanticize Z. Uh, that's an internal chip there too. Over here we have Emus, and that's an external IC. There's also a diode there we can look at stress on that one. Then over here we have Stevo 21 who has, as I say, just the centrifuge connected to that IC housing. Mr. Canerican, it has a gas mixer connected and a pipe analyzer connected to the IC. And finally, lastly but not least, is Debod. And Debod has an external IC with two LED displays, I believe. I put them there for inputs and output counts. We won't be using that, obviously. So, that's our contenders. And without further ado, adieu, adieu. I'm going to press this button and the countdown will begin. Okay. 
Okay, we're all off to a good start. I'm gonna have a look, go keep going round and looking at the pressure gauges. As we climb. Uh, this core board actually seems a bit faster, I think, than this. No, it's the other way around this time. These are actually faster than the scoreboard. I did a little bit of testing and this scoreboard was faster. I don't know why, but this time round it's the other way around. So these displays... Oh! Oh! Imus has stalled already. Got up to 192 and then stalled right out. That's a shame. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong there, so apologies for whatever I did wrong there. But in the meantime, it looks like the bod is in the lead with Mr. Canaric in second. And at this point in time, we have Atlanticize, Atlanticize's third. Oh, it's been, Atlanticize is being caught up by Stevo very closely. It looks like they're neck and neck now. Stevo has taken over, but in, in first place, it looks like it's bod. We're very closely, Mr. Canarican, very closely followed by Mr. Canarican. Mr. Canarican's stress is in the orange, and the bod's stress is in the yellow. They're yeah, pretty much neck and neck here. It's There's not much in it. Really is not much in it. Uh, Mr. Canarican looks like he's in the lead now with the orange. It, 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 and slightly behind them two is Stevo still. Poetry is... Sorry, I'll emphasize his next poetry and then Sistin Syntax. Let's have a look at all the gauges. You're in the green, you're middle of the green. This one's in the yellow, that's Atlantis side is in the yellow. We don't have to worry about Emus anymore. Stevo is in the green still. Mr. Canarican is still in the orange, nearly in the red even. And Dubbard is in the green. So who is going to win this race? It's, so far we are looking at Mr. Canarican in the lead. We have Dubbard second, Stevo is third. Well, I, this is all by random chance where I put these, so I'm kind of glad they're all in on this side. It, it... Mr. Canarican's nearly in the red here. He's in the. He's actually dipped into the red, but he's been caught up very quickly by Dubbard, who is still in the green. It's so close, so close. In fact, Dubbard has just taken the lead from from Mr. Canarican. The bot is in the lead, followed closely by Mr. Canarican, and then this and Stevo is third. And Merce is trying to start again. Let's see how that goes. I don't think you're gonna catch up to everybody else, mate. Atlanta uh, size is neck, followed by Budgery, and then last but not least is Syntax. Oh, that's been processed all the yours already. 500. Oh, the bot is well in the lead now. And Stevo is looks like he's almost catching up to Mr. Canarican here. Still in the green. Mr. Canarican is consistently in the orange. Uh, the bot is now in the yellow. Let's have another quick look at our scoreboard. Mr. Canarican is catching up with the bot. It's, he's gaining ground. Slowly but surely, he's gaining ground. He's in the lead. Devon is in the lead. He's taken the lead from Mr. Canerican, and now it looks like Stevo's dropped out. Oh no, he got up to 509 RPM, and then finally, unfortunately, so I say, he ground to a halt. That is uh, bad news for Stevo. So Devon being in the lead, actually, Mr. Canerican's hot on his tail there. Hot on his tail. Very close indeed. It's so hard to tell. I wonder who's going to beat. Who's going to win this? Followed then by Bujrit, and then Atlanta size Oh well, they're they're neck and neck more or less. Okay, it looks like Mr. Canerican is in the lead now. He's taken the lead again from him. Uh, the board. But it's so close. It's so close. Mr. Canerican is constantly in the orange, and. The bot is constantly in the green. Well, it's now in the green, shall I say? But Mr. Canerican is 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 losing ground now. 
It's losing ground. The board, the board is about to. It's neck and neck. The board is overtaken there in the 700s. The board is in the lead again. Mr. Canerican has fallen slightly behind. Let's have a quick look at everyone else's uh, stress levels. Oh, the syntax is getting up, up into the orange. Bujari is in the, the yellow, and Atlanticide is now in the green. Again, these two have stalled. No point really looking at them. And it, it's neck and neck. It's, well, more or less. The bod is slightly in the lead with a yellow express level. And Mr. Canerican is still in the orange, but not far behind him. But the bod is, is slightly in the lead now. He's actually picking up ground. He's making a bit of a break for it. He's 15 points in the lead or so. Bougerie is in third. Clear third. Clear third. But the bod's still in the lead now in the 800s. It looks like it, the, the bod is looking very good for this. He's, he's slowing down, though. Slowing down. Mr. Canerican's still in the orange. And the bod in the, in the yellow. Mr. Canerican is, seems to be slowly no, gaining ground. I don't know. It's hard to tell. We're, in, we're nearly into the 900s now. This is going to be a close race for sure. Let's have a quick look at the scoreboard again. Burgery is still third. We're in the 900s now. The bot is in the lead. It looks like the bot is, is, is doing really well here. Will he be the winner? Mr. Canerican is still in the orange. The bot is in the yellow. The bot is in the lead here. It, it's still anyone's game, but... Mr. Canerican seems to be gaining a bit of ground here, but can he catch up to the bot who's now at who's now breaking 950 RPM? I can't believe it, Mr. Mr. Canerican's catching up now. Mr. Canerican's catching up. He's he's there neck and neck, there neck and neck. Mr. Canerican's now taking the lead in the 900s, 950 plus, and Mr. Canerican's now in the lead. He's beating the bot. He's he's. He's getting lead, a lead on Debod, even though he's in the orange now, he's getting a big lead there on Debod. Debod just stalling out, he's down at the bottom of the green, right at the last minute. There we go, Mr. Canerican wins with the 1,000 revs per minute. And that, my friends, is the end of this race. Oh, that was a bit loud. Well, let's have a quick look around. 978, that got 995, well, we know that got above that. We know them two bottomed out. 978 there, well, that's not bad going, really, for an size. Hodge rate is 948 and 756 for Syntiax. So, unfortunately, Syntax, Syntiax 2000 did not match the pace there. But we've got to have a clear winner with Mr. Canerican. Uh, followed by Debard, followed by Bodgerit. Well, that was interesting. Uh, it, it, it was such a close race between them two, and I'm so glad I put them together. It was completely by chance. Now, if I get in my belt here, I want to go and have a quick look at... We're not going to be able to tell much from these because... No, I don't think we're going to be able to tell much from them at all. But let's see how clean the combustion was. We have NOS volatile. We actually have 7%. We have 0.4 moles of NOS and volatiles in this tank. I thought they would have combusted, but clearly not. I guess they don't work the same as, as volatiles and oxygen. And in this tank, which is a winner, we have 0 0.03 moles or 0.9 moles. That's a lot cleaner of a combustion there than, than, than this one here. So Mr. Canerican is currently also in the lead for clean combustion. Okay, here is 0.03, but unfortunately, if I'm right in thinking... Yeah, this is Stevo. Stevo021, you, you bottomed out. So even though you had a clean combustion, unfortunately, it, it, you didn't make the end of the race. This one is a complete clean combustion, but again, it must did stall out using this 50-50 fixie not NOS mix here, so I'm afraid we can't count that. Atlanticize did really well as well. And 
mm, 0.1 mole and zero of, of both or 0.4 of 4% well it's not quite as good as the other side but we're talking minuscule amounts really this is 8% of the total but it's still 0.4 mole and this one here is 0.004% on 0.3% it, it's, it's a, oh, uh, okay maybe I shouldn't be using this because it might not be the best way of looking at things, but still, uh, N2, okay, N2 and CO2, four mole each. Okay, well, 50%, that's all that's left in there. Now, um, I guess the combustion is still happening after all. But anyway, and temperature-wise, that is 4,000, that is 3,000, that is 2,000. That's 1,000, doesn't count. That's 1970, that doesn't count. 343, 3343, 3431. Well, I mean, that is a very, 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 very close race, to be sure. Um, right, well, there you go. It'll, it'll be Mr. Canarican that I'm using for the foreseeable future, I guess. I hope, and it took 348 seconds to reach 1000 RPM, which is about seven minutes and something, seven minutes and a few, seven minutes and a few seconds to the side. Right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. All right, goodbye for now.